And welcome and thank you for joining us here on The Factor on Censor. Tonight, we're following that huge developing news story out of the Texas State Capitol, the impeachment of Attorney General Ken Paxton. Lawmakers voted for the historic move over the weekend. This comes following years of allegations of misconduct by the Attorney General, which range from bribery to conspiracy and retaliation against former employees. A Senate trial is now set for the end of the summer, starting no later than August 28th. Seven House Republicans and five Democrats will prosecute the case. Paxton's impeachment marks the first time in state history the Texas House impeached and suspended an attorney general. Let's bring in our guest to talk about it. Democrat State Representative Ron Reynolds, University of Houston downtown professor, Dr. David Branham, and attorney Jared Woodfield, former head of the Harris County Republican Party. So, Dr. Branham, first let's bring you in into this. Big deal. History being made right here. Your thoughts? My thoughts are the timing. I'm, I'm just really curious about the timing of this. But right at the end of the session, and it's we know that time is going to run out on the session. The Senate is going to be left out there, on, isolated on this, uh, with you know, w with everyone wondering what they're going to do. So the timing on this is is very, very interesting. Uh, we're coming off an election in which Paxson ha had a nice victory. Nice victory in the Republican primary against George P. Bush. He had a nice victory in the in general election. So, and this isn't anything new. These allegations have been going on for a while. Right. So I'm very curious about what is actually going on behind what the scenes. What do you think is going thinking. on? Well, I think that there's definitely a message being sent by the House, but I'm much more interested in the Senate and what the Senate is going to do going forward. I and his a, wife is in the Senate, right? His wife is in the Senate, and I mean, you have to you have to take an oath to be objective if you're going to be part of this trial. So I don't think she's going to be part of it. And so you need 21 votes in the Senate, and that means that only, you only need 10 people to say no for that impeachment to go away. So I think it's going to be a tough road to get uh, Paxson impeached. And I think it's probably going to be a while before the Senate actually has a trial, even if they do have a trial. I think they're going to wait to see if these federal charges come in. <laughs> They've been waiting forever for that. <laughs> yeah. That ain't going to ever happen. <laughs> well, if it's not going to happen, uh, you're going to impeach a sitting attorney general when he but, hasn't but even been But there are charged? new allegations that are out there. Let's bring yes. State Representative Ron Reynolds. Your thoughts on this. Should he have been impeached from your perspective? Absolutely, Isaiah. The evidence was overwhelming that was presented to the House by the general investigating body uh, investigative committee. It was unanimous from the committee and it was an overwhelming supermajority of both parties. We came together in a bipartisan manner upholding our constitutional duties <coughs> after listening to the evidence. This was not about partisanship. This was about the rule of law and showing that nobody, not even the attorney general, is above the law. When the evidence pr was presented, it was compelling. It was damning. And it is amazing that right now he's not in jail. If he was any regular citizen, he would have been thrown in jail and convicted many years ago. For uh, the viewer who hasn't been following this representative, Reynolds, he's accused of what exactly? Uh, there, there's a whole list of things. But what brought it to the House's attention and to the professor's question is he basically uh, was paid some hush money and then he had some people from his office that were whistleblowers that would like basically snitched on him right they were telling on him and then he retaliated against them they brought a civil suit he settled and then asked us as the House members to pay a three a 2.3 million dollar lawsuit uh, uh, that he has settled. And you know? this was all supposedly to help a rich donor of his. A rich donor that he provided, that, that he provided uh, uh, favors for, that did renovations for his house. Uh, there are allegations of bribery. Uh, there's allegations of, of, of all kind of malfeasance. I mean, you, when you see these 20 categories uh, in the indictment, it was, it was, uh, it was appalling that a top law enforcement officer in the state would have done these heinous things. Jared, you can't be controlled or held down. Let, let's hear from you. Uh, think, you think this is a farce. I think and he used the, Representative Reynolds used the right words, allegations. These are allegations that have been out there since 2015. Allegations where there have not been indictments issued. Allegations where there haven't even been, uh, Nate Paul, the individual I mentioned, he hasn't even been indicted. So it's all about allegations, allegations. The reality is what they weren't able to achieve at the ballot box, they're trying to do through a small group of individuals. And that's sad. And I think the people of the state of Texas should 
be outraged. We had 4.4 million or so voters supporting General Paxton in the last election. He beat the Democrat by 10 points. He's won three times, three, three statewide elections in a row. And so they haven't been able to defeat him at the ballot box. So a small group of individuals say we are going to usurp the will of the people and take away or disenfranchise your vote. That's just wrong. And I think they're going to pay another price for it at the ballot box in four more years. You don't think the Speaker of the House, uh, well, Dave Phelan had anything to do with this? Absolutely, I do. I think there are a whole group of folks. Of course, the Democrats aren't ever going to support Ken Paxton. I get that. But you have a group of folks in the Republican Party. There's an internal civil war going on between Dave, Fe Dave Fe Phelan uh, and, and those who were supporting George P. Bush in the primary, those who have worked for years now to try to unseat General Paxton. They haven't been successful. How does that sit with you, again? Dr. Bremer? I see you kind of uh, shaking your head. I don't know what, what, what <laughs> you're saying. I understand what you're saying, but. I mean, you had an, an overwhelming majority in the House, as, as Representative Reynolds was talking about. I mean, that, that's not Clinton impeachment or Trump impeachment. That's Nixon impeachment, that mm -hmm. kind of a vote. So that's and, overwhelming. And you're saying both Republicans and Democrats, not just Democrats. Absolutely. The, lot, the majority of Republicans, a big majority right. of Republicans. So well, yeah, that everybody is... Everybody from his home well, county, but, Isaiah. But, but, no, Colin that, county. So that's yeah. what's worrisome to me about but, what Jerry is talking well, but let's, about. Let's just, just think about one thing, though. Dade Phelan is driving the bus on this issue. Let's a just Republican. face it. And the reality is, you look at the amount of money... And really quick, give the view of the quick background about well, Dave, why he may be pissed off right now. Well, there's a whole lot of reasons, but, but the give reality... Us, give us the well, one. Uh, you're talking about him saying that Dave Phelan was drunk recently? Yeah. <laughs> on the floor, yeah. Well, he wasn't the only one who said that. A lot of people have come out and said that. But as as you know, the Speaker of the House, as you know very sure. well, has a lot of power, That's right. a lot of the ability to appoint you to certain committees. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the amount of money that Dade Phelan has contributed to those Republicans who voted to impeach Senate, uh, General Paxton, it is a huge amount of money, millions of dollars. And so there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. The reality is the people of this state spoke just a few months ago. They over overwhelmingly re-elected uh, General Paxton, and it shouldn't be undone by a few folks of individuals in Austin. All right. Austin. Thank you guys for joining us. I would say you all would all come back as we watch the process, but you'll be there yeah, voting in Austin. Yeah. And well, the we Senate, know how you're going to vote. Senate. I voted, I voted <laughs> to impeach him, but now it's for the Senate to decide if he's convicted or not. All righty, guys.